In this season of giving, one local charity says it found itself in an unusual spot. It had too many donations. Good problem to have, but uh, rather than let them go to waste, Toys for Tots in Montgomery County organized a giveaway. Montgomery County reporter Kevin Lewis was there as volunteers turned into Santa Claus. Chaos that rivaled the mall. But Toys for Tots always come through every year. Granted foster mom Sandra Baker's nine children normalcy this Christmas. And so when I get back home, it's gonna, they're going to be jumping up and down. And they're going to be giving me hugs because we have Christmas toys. I, I got up here as fast as I could. Laurie Arias is gifting for five with one on the way. This helps them to feel that they're, they're just children like everyone else, that they're not different. What is different? The number of gizmos and gadgets donated. Last year, Toys for Tots collected 36,000 toys across Montgomery County. Compare that to 98,000 this year. The spike left 30,000 toys boxed up in a warehouse that needs to be cleared by January 1st. Volunteers only required parents prove Montgomery County residency. Plus, bring child birth certificates. One lady came in, had eight children. Organizer Liz Scott says one's true need was based on the honor code. I mean, imagine yourself, adult, being in a house full of money, and you don't know which bill to grab first. That's the way these kids was. No, I don't have all the riches, all the money in the world, but life is wonderful. I have my kids. They're happy. Um, I'm sober, and we're here. We're happy. So in the end, it took less than five hours to go through 30,000 toys. That has emptied out a lot of boxes here at Toys for Tots Montgomery County. I am told 550 kids now expected to have a very Merry Christmas when maybe a gift wasn't even going to be under the tree. In Gaithersburg, I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC 7 News.